Hey guys, so um, I just wanted to kind of uh, mention a couple things. I've been hearing some people say they're ready to get started in January. Some people say um, they can't find anybody to wrap because everybody doesn't have Christmas money. Um, I mean, I've heard all kinds of things and I get those same excuses from my customers too. So I don't want you to think I'm like preaching at you. I'm in this with you and I'm going through these same struggles, but here's my outlook and I wanted to share it with you and just kind of, um, give you some insight onto just some of the things that have kept me encouraged and some of the things that are keeping me going through this um, December, this month of December. Um, number one, I know that January, I've already experienced a January with It Works, and I know that it's crazy. Um, think about this. From January to June, this is how it goes down. You have New Year's resolutions, and then um, in February you have, well, and then we have conference. And then with conference, they build up the, um, look at McKinley. <laughs> she's trying to keep me aggravated sorry so I couldn't focus um so she so in January we have conference let me just back up okay we have new year's resolutions and then right after we have conference and with conference we have the bonuses we're getting a new product I have heard that this is going to be amazing I've heard that um you know, Pam Souter was talking to a group of leaders and she couldn't even hardly sit down in her chair. She was so excited about it. And if the founder of our company, um, you know, gets that excited and says it and she knows things, I believe I would get my honey there. So that is going to help you um, build your business. It's going to help you get plugged in. It's going to help you see the reality of all these things that we talk about all year long. And it's going to give you knowledge and it's going to let you belong to something. It's going to let you see what you belong to and what you're a part of and that it's so much bigger and greater. You're going to get to see the heart of the leaders of our company. You're going to see the, um, you get to see the people that we call in and talk to. Um, you get to hear from our It Works Gives Back Foundation. Um, they have a worship service for us. I mean, it's amazing. They have a party that is just, I mean, reality show, um, Hollywood, straight through like Hollywood kind of party. I mean, you just can't imagine the things and the fun that happen. And I'm really excited that I have so many people going with me this year. And I'm praying that more people go because I just think we're going to have such a good time and build together as a team. But, okay, so after you come back from conference, you're on fire, and guess what? People start getting their tax money. Tax money means they have extra money to spend on themselves that they normally don't have. And they also know that spring and summer are right around the corner. Well, then right after that comes spring break and Easter, and people are getting into Easter dresses, and they're going on vacation for spring break. It's starting to warm up if you're in the south. And they get shorts and short sleeve shirts and tank tops out. And next thing you know, it's vacation season. The kids are getting out of school and it's just insane. So I really want you guys to think about this. You know, they say it takes 60 to 90 days for a seed to be planted and to, and to move on. And I think I've, I've seen some go 30 to 60. It just depends on what you're looking at. So say it does take 30. Plant your seeds right now. And when all that hype comes in January, you'll be reaping what you've sown this month. So please don't sit there in discouragement. I can't find anybody to wrap. I can't find anybody to sell a wrap to. I can't get a loyal customer. I can't get a distributor. All you have to do is keep trying and planting those seeds. Keep your Facebook pages positive. Keep um, just plugging along. Keep showing them the positives. When you're with your team, let people know about your team. Let them know that you are excited and that you are just, you know, building your team and let them know the positives. Build your business platform so that when they are ready, they know you're their go-to person. And I want you guys to think about this too, that... Okay, Eric Worry, we watched his video the other day, and he said this. People say they don't have the money at Christmas. They're lying because people choose what they want to spend their money on. And if you think about it, you watch people in this season. They're going Christmas shopping, and while they're out, they're buying lattes, going to dinner, going to lunch, shopping, going to dinner again. I mean, like, they're just spending so much money. And some people are taking advantage of these Christmas sales to shop for themselves. So really, it just boils down to what you want. 
you have to show them why they want it and why they need the wraps during the Christmas season versus bikini season. Bikini season's easy. You say, you're getting ready to put on a bathing suit, they automatically think, oh my gosh, my skin is going to show and I need to wrap it and shrink it up. But if you think about winter, why? We're hiding it under sweaters and jeans and boots. Think of a good reason. Give people a good reason to want your products. Go with the face peel. The face sticks out of your clothes. Everybody sees your face. So think about that. Think about those things. And then I also want to let you know that I went. I go to a networking group. I've, I've actually stopped going, but they invited me to a big event they had. And I went, and I went to lunch with some people. And through the event and then through, you know, networking with each other afterwards, everyone was talking about January. Here comes January. And now is the time to market. Now is the time to let people know who you're with and what you're doing, what company you're with and what you're doing. Now, these are not It Works people. These are all different insurance agents, real estate agents, mortgage brokers, um, you know, uh, I think one was a restoration company, like a remodeling company, um, plumbers, electricians, everything. Mary Kay, I mean, just everything. And everyone said, this is the time to plant the seeds. You guys are going to be with your families. You're going to be with friends. You're going to be at work parties. You're going to be at church parties, at everywhere. Everywhere you go, make sure they know you are the go-to person for It Works because next month, when things do calm down and they do have money, even though I think they probably have it now, it's just a choice of whether or not you spend it. I think that in January, they are going to know you are without a doubt the person. Oh, yeah, because they may see five people on Facebook that have It Works, but they may make that personal connection with you when you see them in person and they're going to think, oh, I'm going to her or him. Because they know and they've built this trust relationship with you. So just think about those things and just know that there's a big movement coming across the business industry as a whole. Not just It Works. It's not just Nikki and I sitting here going, January's coming, January's coming. And then you see the Tuga group and the leaders in there. January's coming. Jan it's not just them. It's everyone. Everywhere I go, anything to do with business, they are saying it. And I'm like, gosh, I'm glad that I'm, it's like affirmation for me that I'm thinking this. So just really, really, really think about where you're at and what you're doing. Stay positive. If you feel like that you have some downtime right now, really look at what your hurdles are and how you can overcome them and jump them. Because you can sit there and you can throw a fit and cry and lay in the floor right there at your hurdle. Or you can get up and dust yourself off and you can figure out what it is and that you do that through coming to me and Nikki and Rachel. And you get you do that by going to, you know, what is your weakness? And you go and you get different um, resources, books, videos, and you learn. You pour into yourself so that you're able to pour out. And if you don't do that, you can't expect yourself to grow. You can't expect yourself to climb the hill and climb the mountain if you don't have the fuel. Now, when you go eat and you go run, you have the energy to go run and run that marathon or run your mile or whatever. It's the same thing. You have to fuel your mind. You have to fuel, fuel your heart so that you can run this race. And if you don't, you're going to end up in the emergency room, you know, with this little fit that you might have. And I've been there. I've done it. I've pitched a fit. And I know. So again, I'm not preaching at you. I know I've been there and I'm walking this with you. I want to pick you up and help you over the hurdle. I don't want to, you know, lift you up and send it over, send you over without your effort. I want you to do it too so that when you look back, you can say, I did this. So what are we thinking? We're going to conference. We're waiting on January. This is going to be an amazing month. Just look at the fun and the positive, and the more you do that, the more people are going to be attracted to you naturally. And guess what? On December 25th, people get cash in their stockings. So guess what you guys have thinking December 26th, 
wraps. I have wraps. Get ready for your New Year's dress. Think about these things. Start thinking ahead. Marketing. How you can market yourself. And this is going to be great. I can't wait to see you guys at conference. I can't wait to rock out December. This is going to be amazing. Our teams are growing. We're on fire. And I love you guys. See you guys later. Bye.